Well, I was excited about going over to the IDL course because I wanted to get online. You know, there was a huge, big assumption, especially when I was taking the old IDL 6543 back in 2005 or 6. The big assumption is all the students who come to take it know nothing. Well, when I took IDL and I worked with my instructional designer, I, I let her know that I wanted to be as self-sufficient as I possibly could. To make IDL more effective, it would be good to give those who are advanced a chance to just run right from the beginning. Well, the old version of IDL 6543, we, we often found ourselves sitting through um, lectures and things that faculty already knew. The IDL 6543 program is our flagship faculty development program for helping faculty learn how to design and deliver online and blended courses. And by all measures, it's been wildly successful. That doesn't necessarily mean that this is a perfect program by any means. So after hearing from deans and chairs and faculty about IDL 6543, we felt that we needed to do something to revise the curriculum. For people who were more technologically savvy, they felt that they were going through activities that were kind of a waste of their their time and resources. They wanted to be working in their class and they didn't have that opportunity. I knew some of the things that they tried to teach in IDEA 6543, so it was probably not only frustrating for my side as a student but also for the instructor's side to teach students who know a little bit about the things they try to teach. Well, when I came to the IDEAL course, I came in, a little, I think, a little differently than others. You know, I come from digital media, so uh, I was familiar with the technology, familiar with the software, so I wasn't going there to learn that. What excites me most about the IDEAL 6543 redesign um, is just the shift in paradigm that's happened over the past 10 years. When we first used to have faculty come into the course, we kind of had assumed that they didn't know anything or not a whole lot about online learning. A lot of the faculty were new to the online world. Um, some of them were just using email at that time, and that's really changed over the past 10 years. The old, the old version was more about uh, building a sample of what you're going to do. The new version of IDL does a good job, I think, of letting faculty build classes right from the beginning. They've done a lot more front-loading of the, of the course so that when you hit that first face-to-face -face meeting, um, I think faculty members are really going to appreciate the fact that it's very in tune to what they're doing. The fact that faculty start working on their course day one, I think is going to make a very big difference. Faculty also said that they didn't want to wait two or three weeks to get into the development of their course. So we did a lot of analysis before we started them in the development and we really cut that back uh, to be minimal and really get them to start developing inside their courses. So they begin with their syllabus and schedule on week one, which is something that we didn't usually do until week two or three. Faculty didn't want to learn to teach. They wanted to learn how to apply the things that worked very successfully for them face to face onto the online environment. And now it's really changed um, so that we assume that they know how to teach and now we reflect, you know, what are your objectives? How have you, you know, what are the activities you used to do in course and how are you going to transition them online? I, myself, and also several of my colleagues have taken IDEAL 6543 and uh, we have to understand the fact that we are a little bit different campus. We are at the Lawson campus, which is 30 miles away from here. Faculty time is so limited and in the past, one of the other issues has been that every Friday they needed to be an IDL for the full day and so they, they really lost that time. The revisions meet the needs of the UCF faculty because there is a, a reduced seat time and more time for individual instruction and training. Instead of attending, I don't know, six or eight times physically to the main campus, I was told they would reduce it to three and the other part would be taken over or replaced by the online component which I think is a great benefit. And it's completely changed. There's now uh, quite a bit more online and less delivered face-to-face. -face. We went from five face-to-face -face sessions to actually three, and two of those are only half-day sessions. It's a program designed for them so that they can be successful in their courses, in their departments, in their colleges, delivering online.